All right, what is up, guys? This is HG Luigi here with a, another my thoughts video on this time on Beyond Light for Destiny 2. I'm going to separate this into three separate, well, three separate uh, categories. One of them being the uh, just the story itself. By the way, this gameplay, I I am very. I just came from PC when I did this gameplay but anyways so the gameplay is going to not be the best in the world but I still almost win the match although it's more of a testament of the skill of the other people but anyways so overall with the story it uh, it's ba it's your basic destiny story where you kind of you have a big bad it's like every expansion and you have to kill them but this time you use the power of darkness with, to help you defeat them and once you finish the campaign you get the uh, darkness subclasses which speaking of those uh, the darkness subclasses are actually really fun to use they're also actually quite strong because well you can customize them once you get your aspects you uh, you're able to do a lot of things with them like for the hunter you can dive with your uh with your pickaxe and just just shatter any ice around you i miss off to the left there and with the warlock whatever you freeze creates a little ice wave that comes out and freezes other things when you shatter them and with a titan you get a slide that breaks any ice and also gives you a longer slide This guy was really thirsty for the shotgun. Anyways, yeah, I had to do it. Anyways, the Titan one is, the Titan subclass is extremely good for movement. It's one of the best movement subclasses in the game. And by one of the, I mean, it is the best because it's melee is basically just a free fast movement option to uh, get out of dodge. And the hunter has their shurikens, as you saw right there. They has the shatter dive, where you take your little sickle, your comma, as they're called, and you just and you just use the uh, comma to slam down breaking ice. And like I told you about the warlock already. But at the very beginning of the season, I'm glad I did not make a video whenever the season first launched, because within the first week they fixed the the warlocks to where they're not just freezing everybody and it wasn't just a pain ice nightmare to deal with anyways my second category was pvp actually i wanted to save the raid last i'm going to try to be spoiler free on that one as well anyways pvp the primary game has never been more balanced well, I would say it's probably been the most balanced since Year 1 of Destiny 2. But nobody likes the Year 1 of Destiny 2. I actually didn't mind it, but anyways. But yeah. Primaries are in a good spot right now. Ace is a little strong, but that's more on the flinch it creates. As you can see, the new raid rocket launcher. But, uh... Ace is strong because of the flinch it creates. Crimson is also strong. 120 hand cannons. They used to be 110s. Now they're 120s. They're pretty strong. But, uh... Overall, it feels really good. Shotguns are still a problem, honestly. They need to lose some damage. It's just... It, it needs to happen. They need to lose some range. They need to go down to 5 meters of range. If you don't believe me, most games do this already. Call of Duty, their best shotguns are only 5 meters of range. And then you have Modern Warfare where shotguns were overpowered because they had way too much range. But, uh... But yeah, PvP is actually a pretty good spot. The, the light subclasses do need some tuning up, except for Don, Top Tree Dawnblade, which has been a menace for over a year now. Anyways, that's really all I needed to say about PvP. Surprised my rockets didn't uh, track him. 
I was expecting the rockets to track him, but they didn't. Anyways, I'm going to go to the raid now. The raid is one of the biggest reasons why you should ever consider getting a Destiny expansion. It Actually, I believe it is the biggest reason. I mean, yes, you have... You have the story, which is fun. You have the new subclass stuff, usually. Last year we didn't. But the raid is the biggest part. And this raid, atmosphere-wise, is the best raid in Destiny. This is my opinion, of course, but... I felt like it was absolutely fantastic. The uh, Just the feeling of like the music and the just the atmosphere, basically. Just the background... It felt really good to do the. It felt really good to uh, go through the raid, and some of the uh, sights you see in there are fantastic. I'm trying to stay spoiler free. However, the raid's not too hard. Honestly, it's actually pretty easy. Your rule. The only rule is to just don't die, and you'll be fine. If you don't die, you'll be fine. But overall, I feel like it's a very positive experience. The loot is actually extremely good, as you can see in this video here. Well, I'm missing with the uh, sniper and then getting hit by a cloud strike, which is also something you get from the expansion. I actually really enjoy the cloud strike. But like I said, this is when I was I went from PC to con straight to console, so my uh my shot was off on console. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with the uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light expansion. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time when we do the my thoughts on Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. I actually have to work on that video. But it won't be too bad. I'll see you guys next time. I might actually do one for Call of Duty Cold War, but I don't feel like anybody really on this channel really cares. And I don't think I could do anything that would make anybody want to watch that. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Fight on just the same.